And with all the road closures and potholes across the county, the question remains, what is the long term solution? Potholes are popping up with each new storm, despite crews trying to fill them as fast as they can. Our Kasha Gogorczyk continues our team coverage and joins us live in Claremont with more. And Kathleen, I think a lot of San Diego drivers lately are just holding their breath as they hit the road, trying not to hit one of those surprise potholes along the way. There's no shortage of them. We're here along Claremont Mesa Boulevard. This is one of those streets that is just pot pothole ridden up and down, not hard to find them. And unfortunately, because of all this consistent rainfall, it makes the problem a lot worse before crews can even get here to make things better. Whatever the number of potholes that we have, the goal is zero. Back to back storms since the start of the year have made keeping up with pothole repairs a tedious task for the city of San Diego. In January, pothole repairs on the city's Get It Done app reached a high of more than 2,200. We have staff that are going through the reports and seeing how big the potholes are, which ones are, are maybe in a certain area where we can just go and take a chunk of them off the list at once. Mayor Todd Gloria announced an all hands on deck approach with 100 150 city staff working seven days a week, including nights and weekends to catch up on the ever growing backlog. In February, the reports dropped to around 300, but not before more storms caused the reports to spike again. On days like we saw this week, where rain is actively falling, that work stops altogether. The pothole patches themselves filled with asphalt are meant to be a Band-Aid. Some of them look can last weeks, months, maybe even years, but others could crumble within a week or two because of, of the you know different environment that they're in, whether water's seeping underneath or it's heavily traveled. You know, there are different variables. And if a particular area is experiencing a larger issue beneath the surface, that's one of the main reasons why you won't see a street be repaved entirely. If we have uh, sewer lines or water lines or water mains that need to be replaced, we don't want to lay down a whole new street only to come back and have to tear it up again to do a, a, a water main or sewer line replacement. The city says before they can get to long term repairs right now, the goal is to quickly reduce the risk to public safety on the roads by filling as many potholes as they can. So the city's Get It Done app continues to be the best way to report a pothole in your area. During the year, the typical wait time for a pothole request is about nine days, but that wait time can jump up to 28 days during inclement weather, which obviously we have seen since the start of the year. So if you're wondering, wondering how quickly crews can get back to work after the rainfall, they tell me that they hope to be back out here on the streets of San Diego repairing those potholes as early as tomorrow morning, as long as we don't get any more rainfall overnight. Reporting live along Claremont Mesa Boulevard, Kasha Grabarczyk, Fox 5 News.